Hello car audio lovers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're looking into the world of underseat car and truck subwoofers. As someone who's spent years getting my hands dirty installing these bass boosters in all kinds of vehicles, I'm excited to share my top 10 picks with you. Before we start, make sure to click that link in the description for more details and product links. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button to stay tuned for more car audio reviews and tips. Let's count down from number 10 to the cream of the crop. Number 10. Pile PLBX 8A 8-inch low-profile amplified subwoofer system. This compact 8-inch sub is a great entry-level option for those looking to dip their toes into the world of car audio upgrades. With 600 watts of peak power, it definitely adds some thump to your music. I've installed this little powerhouse in quite a few compact cars, and it's always impressed me with its ability to fit in tight spaces. The built-in amplifier means you don't need to worry about finding space for a separate amp, which is a big plus for smaller vehicles. One thing I really appreciate about the PLBX8A is its adjustable input sensitivity. This feature allows you to fine-tune the sub's output to match your car's existing sound system, resulting in a more balanced overall sound. However, it's not without its drawbacks. I've noticed that it can sometimes struggle with low frequencies, especially below 40 Hz. If you're a serious bass head or listen to a lot of electronic music with deep sub bass, you might find it lacking in those lower registers. Additionally, while the aluminum case looks sleek, I've found it can get quite warm during extended use. It's not a deal breaker, but something to keep in mind if you're planning marathon listening sessions. Number 9. Soundstorm Laboratories LOPRO8 Powered Under Seat Car Subwoofer. This 8-inch sub is another great option for those on a budget or with limited space. With 600 watts of peak power, it's on par with the pile in terms of output. One of the things I love about this sub is its compact design. At just 2.8 inches tall, it's one of the slimmest options out there, making it perfect for vehicles with limited under-seat clearance. I've successfully installed these in sports cars where other subs simply wouldn't fit. The LOPR08 comes with a wired remote control, which is a nice touch. It allows you to adjust the base level on the fly without having to reach under your seat. Trust me, your passengers will appreciate not having to endure your base adjusting acrobatics while you're driving. However, there are a couple of issues I've run into with the sub. First, the plastic housing feels a bit flimsy compared to some of the pricier options. I've had a few customers complain about rattling at higher volumes, which seems to be due to the less than stellar build quality. Also, while the compact size is great for installation, it does come at the cost of some low-end response. Don't expect earth-shaking bass from this little guy. It's more about adding warmth and depth to your existing sound than rattling your teeth. Number 8. Kenwood KSC SW11 Compact Powered Enclosed Subwoofer. Kenwood has a solid reputation in the car audio world, and this compact sub lives up to the brand's name. What sets the KSC SW11 apart is its incredibly small footprint. At just 11 inches wide and less than 3 inches tall, it's one of the most compact subs I've ever installed. This makes it perfect for smaller cars or for those who don't want to sacrifice much cargo space. Despite its small size, this subwoofer packs a surprising punch. The 150-watt amplifier might not sound impressive on paper, but Kenwood has done some clever engineering to maximize the output. The aluminum enclosure not only looks sleek, but also helps with superior heat dissipation. One feature I particularly appreciate is the wired remote control. It not only lets you adjust the volume, but also the low-pass crossover point. This level of control allows you to dial in the sound to your liking and match it perfectly with your existing speakers. On the downside, I've found that the KSC SW11 can sometimes distort at higher volumes. It's not a problem if you're using it to add some subtle depth to your music, but if you like to crank it up, you might notice some muddiness in the low end. Also, while the compact size is great for installation, it does mean you're working with a smaller driver and enclosure. This translates to less moving air, which can result in less impactful bass, especially in larger vehicles. Number 7. JBL Bass Pro SL2 Active Underseat Car Subwoofer. JBL is a name that needs no introduction in the audio world, and they've brought their expertise to the underseat subwoofer market with this model. The Bass Pro SL2 features a slim design that's just 2.7 inches tall, making it one of the thinnest 8-inch underseat subwoofers out there. Despite its belt profile, it packs a 125-watt RMS amplifier, which delivers clean punchy bass. One thing I really love about this sub is its build quality. 
The die cast aluminum enclosure feels solid and helps dissipate heat effectively. I've installed these in vehicles that see a lot of off-road action, and they've held up admirably to the vibrations and bumps. The Base Pro SL2 also features JBL's proprietary slipstream port technology, which helps reduce port noise and distortion at high output levels. In practice, I've found this results in cleaner, more defined bass notes, especially in the 60 to 80 Hz range where many underseat subs struggle. However, there is a trade-off for all this technology. The Base Pro SL2 can be quite power hungry. I've had to upgrade the electrical systems in a few cars to get the most out of the sub. It's not a deal breaker, but definitely something to keep in mind if you're considering this model. Also, while the base is clean and punchy, it doesn't dig quite as deep as some larger subs. If you're after that chest thumping low end, you might find the Base Pro SL2 a bit lacking in the lowest octaves. Number 6. Boss Audio Systems BAB10 Amplified Car Subwoofer. Some audiophiles turn their noses up at Boss, but hear me out, this subwoofer offers a lot of bang for your buck. The BAB10 is a 10-inch sub, which is larger than many underseat models. This larger driver size allows it to move more air, resulting in deeper, more impactful bass. With 1200 watts of peak power, 300 watts RMS, it's also one of the more powerful options on our list. One feature I really appreciate is the variable low-pass filter. This allows you to fine-tune the frequencies that the subwoofer handles, making it easier to blend with your existing speakers. The result is a more cohesive overall sound. The remote bass control is another nice touch. It's easy to install and allows you to adjust the bass level on the fly. I've found this particularly useful when switching between different genres of music. However, the BAB10 isn't without its drawbacks. The main issue I've encountered is with the included wiring kit. The quality of the wiring kit isn't great, and I often end up replacing it during installation for better performance and reliability. Also, while the larger driver size allows for deeper bass, it also means the BAB10 is bulkier than many underseat subwoofers. At 3.5 inches tall, it might not fit under the seats of some smaller vehicles. Number 5. Pioneer TSWX 140DA Compact Series 8-inch Active Subwoofer. Pioneer has been a staple in the car audio world for decades, and this compact subwoofer shows why. The TSWX 140DA features an 8-inch driver and a 160-watt amplifier in a surprisingly compact package. At just 2.75 inches tall, it's one of the slimmest 8-inch underseat subwoofers I've worked with, making it a great option for vehicles with limited underseat clearance. One of the standout features of this sub is Pioneer's digital bass control. This technology allows the sub to produce deeper bass than you might expect from such a compact unit. In practice, I've found it does a great job of filling out the low end without muddying the overall sound. The built-in amplifier features a Class D design, which is not only efficient, but also helps keep the unit cool during operation. This is particularly important for underseat installation where airflow can be limited. However, there is a quirk with this sub that's worth mentioning. The mounting brackets can be a bit finicky to work with, sometimes requiring some D modifications to get a secure fit. It's not a deal breaker, but it can add some time to the installation process. Also, while the digital bass control does a great job overall, I've noticed that it can sometimes overboost certain frequencies, resulting in a slightly boomy sound. This is usually easily fixed with some careful adjustment of the low pass filter, but it's something to be aware of. Number 4. Kicker 46HS10 Compact Powered 10 Inch Subwoofer. Now we're getting into the heavy hitters. Kicker has a well-deserved reputation for producing hard-hitting bass, and this compact 10-inch sub lives up to that legacy. This Kicker underseat subwoofer boasts 180 watts RMS power, which is impressive for an underseat sub. This power, combined with a larger 10-inch driver, allows the 46HS10 to produce deep, impactful bass that you can really feel. One of the things I love about this sub is its variable bass boost feature. It allows you to add up to 6 decibels of boost at 40 Hz, which can really bring out the low end and bass heavy tracks. The included wired remote makes it easy to adjust this on the fly. The build quality on the 46HS10 is top notch. The steel enclosure feels solid and durable, which is important for a sub that's going to be tucked under a seat. I've installed these in work trucks that see a lot of abuse, and they've held up admirably. However, there is a trade-off for all this performance. At 3.5 inches tall, the 46HS10 is one of the larger units on this list. It might not fit under the seats of some smaller vehicles, so make sure to measure carefully before purchasing. 
Also, while the bass output is impressive, I've found that it can sometimes overpower the rest of the audio system and smaller vehicles. You'll want to spend some time tweaking the crossover and gain settings to get it to blend well with your existing speakers. Number 3. High Anka Soda 10 ASW Slim Underseat Car Subwoofer. Breaking into our top 3 is a relative newcomer to the scene from High Anka. Don't let the unfamiliar name fool you. This subwoofer has been impressing me a lot lately. The Soda 10 ASW is a 10-inch underseat subwoofer with a unique ultra-slim design. At just 2.36 inches tall, it's one of the thinnest 10-inch subs I've ever worked with. This makes it a great option for vehicles where space is at a premium. Despite its limb profile, this subwoofer packs a punch with 600 watts peak power and 300 watts RMS. In practice, I've found it delivers clean tight bass that adds depth to your music without overwhelming the rest of the audio system. One feature that sets the subwoofer apart is its built-in Bluetooth control. This allows you to adjust the bass level and other settings from your phone, which is a nice touch. No more fumbling for a wired remote while driving. The aluminum enclosure not only looks sleek, but also helps with heat dissipation. I've run this subwoofer for hours on end without any issues with overheating. However, there is one quirk with this subwoofer that's worth mentioning. The controls are a bit hard to reach once it's installed under the seat. This isn't a big issue thanks to the Bluetooth control but it can be annoying if you need to adjust the physical controls for any reason. Also, while the bass is clean and punchy, it doesn't quite have the same low-end extension as some of the larger, more powerful subs on this list. It's great for adding depth and warmth to your music, but if you're after that chest-thumping bass, you might want to look elsewhere. Number 2. Fultusimi 10-inch Powered Car Subwoofer. Just missing out on the top spot is the Fultusimi Powered Car Subwoofer. This might not be a household name, but trust me, this subwoofer punches well above its weight class. The Fultusimi features a 10-inch driver and boasts 600 watts of peak power and 300 watts RMS. What sets it apart is its impressive frequency response, which goes down to 20 Hz. In practice, this means it reproduces deep low notes that many underseat subwoofers struggle with. One thing I really appreciate about this subwoofer is its superior build quality. The die-cast aluminum enclosure feels solid and helps dissipate heat effectively. I've installed these in some pretty harsh environments, and they've held up admirably. The subwoofer also features a variable low-pass filter and adjustable input sensitivity, which makes it easy to integrate with a wide variety of car audio systems. I've found it blends particularly well with factory sound systems, adding depth and punch without overpowering the existing speakers. However, no product is perfect. The main issue I've encountered with the Fultusimi is that the included remote control feels a bit cheap compared to the quality of the sub itself. It works fine, but it doesn't quite match the premium feel of the subwoofer. Also, at 3.25 inches tall, it's not the slimmest option out there. While it will fit under the seats of most vehicles, you'll want to measure carefully if you have a car with limited underseat clearance. Number 1. Rockville SS10P 10-inch Slim Underseat Subwoofer. The Rockville SS10P subwoofer takes the top spot on our list, and for good reasons. First off, let's talk about power. This underseat car and truck subwoofer boasts 800 watts of peak power and 200 watts RMS. In the world of underseat subs, that's seriously impressive. But it's not just about the numbers, this subwoofer delivers clean punchy bass that you can really feel. One of the things I love most about the SS10P is its versatility. Despite being a 10-inch subwoofer, it's still remarkably slim at just 2.9 inches tall. I've successfully installed these in everything from compact cars to full-size SUVs, and they always fit like a glove. The cast aluminum enclosure not only looks premium, but also serves a practical purpose. It helps dissipate heat efficiently, allowing the sub to perform at its best even during extended listening sessions. And let me tell you, the build quality on this subwoofer is top-notch. It feels like it could survive a car crash, though let's hope it never has to. Rockville has included some really thoughtful features that make the subwoofer a joy to use. The smart turn on circuit means you don't need to run a remote wire. It'll power on automatically when it detects an audio signal. The variable low-pass crossover and subsonic filter allow you to really fine-tune the sound to your liking. But what really sets the SS10P apart is its superior sound quality. The bass is tight, accurate, and musical. Whether you're listening to hip-hop, rock, or classical, this sub adds a depth and richness to your music that you didn't even know you were missing. Now, no product is perfect, and if I had to nitpick, I'd say that the SS10P runs a little bit hot after extended use. 
It's not a major issue, but it's something to be aware of if you're planning marathon listening sessions. Also, while the included wired remote is functional, I wish it felt a bit more premium given the quality of the sub itself. But honestly, these are minor quibbles for what is, in my experience, the best underseat subwoofer on the market. And there you have it. My top 10 underseat car subwoofers, based on years of hands-on experience installing and tuning these babies. We've covered a wide range of options, from budget-friendly choices to premium powerhouses, and everything in between. Remember, every car and every listener is different, so what works best for one might not be perfect for another. That's why I always recommend comparing several options before making your final decision. Consider factors like your vehicle's space constraints, your existing audio setup, and of course, your budget. Installing an underseat subwoofer can truly transform your car audio experience, adding depth and richness to your music that you didn't even know you were missing. Whether you're a bass head looking to shake your rear view mirror or an audiophile seeking to fill out the low end of your favorite tracks, there's an option on this list for you. Don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details on each of these subwoofers and where to buy them. They got all the specs, pricing info, and even some exclusive deals you won't want to miss. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell too, so you never miss out on our latest car audio tips, reviews, and tutorials. We've got tons of great content coming up that you won't want to miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.